Hey everyone, this is part two of my Metformin Frequently Asked Questions videos. If you haven't watched part one yet, you can click the link up here to watch it now or find the link below and watch it right after this. Today's FAQs include topics like alcohol, driving, B12 supplements, contraception, fertility, pregnancy, and how all of these things are affected by metformin and vice versa. Since this is part two of the metformin video series, I'm keeping this introduction super short, so let's dive right in the FAQs. Can I drink alcohol if I take metformin? The official answer to this question is yes, you can drink alcohol while taking metformin as long as you stick to the recommended guidelines, which is max 14 drinks per week for men and max 7 drinks per week for women. Let's talk about alcohol a bit more. I know that it's a delicate topic, but it's important to clarify some of the things in relation to alcohol and type 2 diabetes and taking pills like metformin. In my opinion, it's safer to avoid alcohol, and that's for a few different reasons. One, if you already have side effects from taking metformin, like upset stomach or diarrhea, drinking alcohol is going to make these effects even worse. Two, drinking alcohol can cause low blood sugar, and the symptoms of low blood sugar, like dizziness and confusion and drowsiness, can easily be confused with symptoms of drinking alcohol or feeling a buzz. And that confusion puts you at risk of having low blood sugar, not knowing it, and then not treating it, which can all lead to some pretty severe health consequences. Number three, if you have type 2 diabetes and you're drinking alcohol regularly, it can make your insulin resistance even worse, which makes taking metformin less effective. And finally, number four, this isn't very frequent, but it's dangerous enough for the FDA to issue a warning. Combining metformin and excessive alcohol can lead to a severe condition called lactic acidosis. Now, as you may know, excessive alcohol can be very different from one person to another, which is why I urge everyone to be super cautious. Obviously, if you're someone who tolerates metformin really well and you're also managing your blood sugar levels super well, then have the occasional glass of wine, that's totally fine. But for all the reasons I mentioned previously, being cautious and avoiding alcohol is always safer. Is it safe to drive after taking metformin? Yep, taking metformin by itself will not make your blood sugar levels drop too low. So if your blood sugar levels are stable, go drive your car, ride your bike, operate heavy machinery at work, do what you need to do, no problem. However, if your doctor has also prescribed other meds for diabetes, and these meds have the risk of lowering your blood sugar levels a bit too much, be careful, because having an episode of hypoglycemia or low blood sugar can make you dizzy and reduce your concentration, and it's in those cases that you have to avoid driving until you feel better. Should I supplement with B12 vitamins if I take metformin? When you take metformin for a long time, it could cause a vitamin B12 deficiency. But there are other factors that can cause a B12 deficiency. So ideally, your doctor should give you blood tests to find out what your levels are and then prescribe supplements at the appropriate dose as needed. Yes, you can easily buy B12 supplements over the counter and take it preventatively. There's no danger in doing so. But make sure to at least ask your pharmacist for his or her advice on which doses to take and let your doctor know, of course, that you are supplementing. Can I take metformin if I have kidney problems? If your kidneys are not working properly, taking metformin is not recommended. And that's something that your doctor will check always to see how well your kidneys are working before even prescribing metformin to you. Once you're on metformin, your doctor should continue to test your kidneys at least once a year. Some of you may need more frequent checks, and that's if you're either an older person or if your kidneys are starting to malfunction. Does metformin affect my contraceptive pill? Metformin does not influence the effectiveness of your contraceptive pill or of the morning after pill. But the hormones inside these pills can affect your blood sugar levels. How? Well, I invite you to check out this video because you'll learn a lot more about hormones, the female cycle, and how they all relate to diabetes. It's a topic that I find so interesting. The bottom line is you may need to do little adjustments of your metformin doses after starting a hormonal contraceptive. Does metformin affect my fertility? There's no evidence to suggest that taking metformin will reduce fertility for either men or women. Like I mentioned in part one video, metformin is also prescribed for PCOS, a condition that affects how women's ovaries work. 
And in PCOS, when metformin is combined with changes in eating habits, it can actually sometimes help improve fertility. So if you're having trouble getting pregnant, please don't ever stop taking metformin or any other diabetes medication for that matter. Start by speaking with the doctor first and get all the necessary tests done. Can I take metformin if I'm pregnant or breastfeeding? Yes and yes. During pregnancy, metformin is usually safe, taken either alone or in combination with insulin. As for breastfeeding, metformin can pass into your breast milk, but the amount is so small that it doesn't affect your baby. So it's considered totally safe. As always, tell your doctor first if you're trying to get pregnant, if you're already pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding, because your treatment for diabetes will always need to be reviewed. In my 10 plus years of experience as a pharmacist, those were all the questions that I heard most often about metformin. If you haven't already watched the first video of the series, click right here to watch it now. And if there are any questions that I haven't covered, let me know in the comments below. If you found these FAQs helpful or enlightening, please give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon, do all of these things that support us and help us. Also, sign up to our weekly newsletter because I send a lot of cool info in there too. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm.